this is the biggest meet and greet thus far. So we just want to, um, it's always good to fellowship. The spirit of love, the spirit of truth, the spirit of brotherhood. Can? Yeah. With the children here, we have sisters, we have brothers from all over America. Here we have um, families from Israel. From Israel, that's right. They are here, so we just want to give the most high thanks and praise and we're going in the right direction, moving forward. Can? So, um, anything else that? So all praise to the Most High, man. It's another milestone summit, you know, so we just thank the Most High for Israel coming together, um, not letting any nonsense stop us from being unified in the spirit of the Most High. And this is an elder from the Moon. I meet him actually in Israel. And it was, um, as we say, it's mainly four or five of us over there. So anyway, you're going to need protection, right? And um, this was where the protection was when we go there. You can always run up there in the morning. Absolutely. So um, the respect what we get when we go there, we would like a fellow kinsman to give the same respect. So we'd allow him to say something. Shalom. Shalom. Okay. Three words I'd like to share with you all, but it's in question form, and I hope you're ready for it. Who got next? We got next. All I want so you see, that reach overseas. You better know that. That's reach overseas. That's reach overseas. So we give the most high thanks for that again. Absolutely. Um, all praises for um, the world together and sisters together here to, to, um, to this was the 12th one. Number 12. Yeah. Number 12 me, right? You know what 12 me, right? You know 12 me, right? <laughs> That's a completion of this, right? And we know what this year is. The completion of the 400, right? Yes. So big things are about to happen. That's right. So just gird yourself up and get ready. Mm -hmm. We never say we're getting salvation. Yeah, but we just big say things are happening. That shekel going loose. Yeah. Yeah. You understand me? And even um, before I can speak, with um, show a part them um, by that white house. You have brothers have stuff to say about it, but we in this truth from in the 90s act. We can make this thing we feel we own, we can't fight. Let the fight meet us. You understand me? So we support that 100%, and um, and we'll support our people in that position 100%. Because we have to understand that everybody have a different office. That's right. It was Judah's office to be what the treasurer, right? It was his office to die, but it was Peter's office to turn upside down and die too. Can? So everybody have their own office. So we just support an individual in their office, right? Can? Right, all praise be to God and thank you to Jacob for the mercy of the Lord. Just want to thank everyone for coming out again. It was a sacrifice, people coming from the four corners to be here. True a pleasure for Israel to brought together in unity. Um, you know, don't that blood moon, don't take it for granted. This is a sign of watching the outshine. And I, I, you know, it's like I watched the comments, people said that's not what it means, but you know, the scriptures say that that is a sign of destruction, son of, you know, son of man coming back to the future world. So this is our 12th, 12th summit. A lot of gangs say, a lot of people say they won't make it past the 5th summit. But what we're here, you know, we're not saying that we're gathering Israel, because that's a much like I was shot, but we are a uh, vision gap. We have the elder from Demona, sister from Ghana. So they're waiting for us to come home. You know, for a long time, we have made America our rest. You know, not knowing that we got a place that's, that's waiting for us. That's right. That's that the most I gave to us. That's, that's right. That's, 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 right. Our, that's our inheritance. That's right. right. That's right. Right. So we just got to reclaim it. Yeah. Right. You saw. I know you saw the video with Esau the other day. He said he sold back. He wants his birthright back. He just sold it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he can't get it back. You understand? So. Um, like, like the brother said it best in the morning, he said, we got next. You understand? Yeah, you know, I started right. with um, Elder um, Zabak. You know, we had that movement and that, that caught fire and it's, it's still been burning ever since. So, um, I, you know, I look forward to, to labor with brothers you know, throughout, throughout the United States, you know, different countries. You know, we first started, um, that's how I actually met Elder Matatua in, in Jamaica when I did that, you know, we did that TV show years ago. So, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing when, when you as an elder, you, you go out there and you sow fruit, and that fruit is, is what you labor to this day. Mm -hmm. uh, you understand? You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't really see that. 
So, um, you know, enjoy the moment. We have four days of uh, activities. Uh, tomorrow is the, the Union Camp. That's always a beautiful thing to see uh, brothers laboring out there, getting this word out. And then we have a beautiful Shabbat service. We have the, um, the actual summit. And then Sunday is the family day, the first day. So, um, you know, everyone just, you know, be ready to enjoy yourselves. And, and um, just the first night, a lot more people coming. You know, people coming in late, but they say better late than never. Uh, uh, let me just add this. Um, and this summit is so important, as our characters all have said, 12 1. Because now you see um, our people losing food stock. You understand me? Our people losing housing. Our people not getting paid. And you just watch news and see ESA helping white people. We have to set up some organization from now. Our preparation start now. So our brothers relax. What the agenda that the summit is? It's for help our people. Uh, yeah. If you notice when you read in Acts, when famine was in Israel, mm -hmm. then Paul collect contributions sent up to Israel for famine. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We all read the same scripture. Right. So if famine not in Israel now, how are we gonna help our people in Israel? If famine not near now, I have a good relationship with brothers, we have a good relationship, That's right. we know they're our sisters. That's all Demona set up over there. That's right. So we have to have the same organization here to help our people too. We can only go and get rough. Even if the government open, it's just a test run. Mm -hmm. Straight up. So we enter something now like, um, when I read the book of Abacook, 316, he said, weakness enter his bone. Mm -hmm. You understand me? We enter in that zone now, which is Jacob Chubb's zone. Right. You understand me? Um, so it's just our love, brothers. So continue to break bread. I know the brother was leaving, so I just want to do this before he leave. Right. And um, tomorrow <laughs> unity camp, sure, and time. Uh, you understand? That's right. And time. <laughs> All right? Where did he can I die? Deacon. Vinny. Okay, come up here. Because we're bringing this deacon and child to you. <laughs> I see the deacon the walking sideways. And um, the other camp leader, come up here. I know so much I know there, but I just want to acknowledge two Brothers, like, they really be out there. And we were watching all of you brothers. Um, show a part, come up here too. Um, from the pull-up boy team. That's right. You uh, understand? Yeah, I want to say something about uh, the young brother, uh, Jamal. Um, the, first, the first time I saw that young brother on, on, uh, on YouTube, I said, man, I got to go teach him, bro. Uh, mm -hmm. And just by saying something verbally in the spirit, it, it manifests. Next thing I knew, I was on a plane, I was in Maryland, and we out there teaching. And from the, the first time I, I introduced him, he was at the last summit, the brothers drove down for the summit. You understand? So, you know, brothers seeing the, uh, they see the, you know, people wonder what their agenda was happening, but you're seeing brothers coming together like-minded. You know, you do see people going against each other on YouTube, with different uh, philosophies, ideologies, but what? The more size elect are gonna see eye to eye. They're not gonna argue, they're not gonna debate. The more side, they're gonna be singing the same song, okay, until we get up out of here. Well, you know, when the young brother is uh, very diligent. Um, you know, when the commander brother, you know, I, I come up from North West where you had a lot of older brothers, but these men out here, they just, a lot of these men learn on, on YouTube, watching other brothers. They didn't have like a, a set person like, you know, Zabaki, Mohar, Collins, uh, Bashar, a lot of these brothers I came with, Kartikala. We had a set program, we had brothers that taught us, each man just going on YouTube and studying, you know, I, I commend them. Plus they're young, they could be out there in the streets, pants sagging, whatever, but they saw them on the side. That's right. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Hallelujah. Um, so Kahan give the introduction for him. Um, that's it all, right? All right, you can just say something. Kwang Yashala. Kwang Yashala! Giving, of course, all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema Mashak and Mashak for bringing the brothers together in unity. By the elder priest spe uh, speaking on the blood moon, that's a sign for us to trim our lap, get our spirits right. Mm. Like in Joel, he speaks about fasting, right? A lot of prayer, a lot of making sure that you trim your ways and making sure that you're getting perfect in these last days. Denying the flesh, being diligent, being on fire, no being lazy, no lukewarm, unless you get spewed out of the mouth of the Lord. 
but you got to make sure we on fire. That's so right. Last is really got to be on fire. Right. Got to really make sure that whatever you do, like in Baruch before chapter, you're doing the times 10. Mm -hmm. Right? The kingdom is coming. We all see the signs coming to pass. We see the prophecies as plain as day. So you got to really be on fire so we can make sure we get in this kingdom. That's right. Um, I know this brother for years, right? And um, he excel and more mature, and um, he's out there on every street corner. Right? Oh, oh, by the name of the boys, so we we see your work, brother. We see what uh, all your brothers doing. So we'd be a fool or a liar if we deny it. And that's why I know um, we incorporate brothers from our own land and other elders coming through that's Saturday. Right. Yeah. So that's why we incorporate them now for them to know who is laboring among us. So you all show up at the summit, it's, it's not slight. You understand me? If, if, if everything has to be rocky, but it's to build something where in the time of trouble we all teach. That's right. You understand me? We all defend ourselves. We all be blessed. Right? So go ahead, bro. First and foremost, all honor and glory to Yahweh by the Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Uh, coming up in this truth, uh, I, I can say that uh, the brotherly love actually helped me mature more than anything. Because, you know, I mainly came up with the tutelage of uh, our head priest, uh, like Priest Zabak, you know, who, who has taught me a lot, you know. I, I learned a lot just by standing in, uh, standing in camp and getting all the precepts that he's calling, you know. But, you know, other elders, like I, I've been around uh, Madatawa, he taught me a lot when it comes to strategizing and, and, and taking my time growing up in the tree. Good conversations I had with him. I learned a lot of patience from uh, uh, Chris Kahan. Chris Kahan is one of the most patient men he's given me. You know, so uh, I learned from different elders as well. So it's good that we all come together and gather ourselves on mission, not desire. You know? uh, like it says in Zephaniah right. 2 and 1. And um, the whole thing that happened by the, the Lincoln Memorial. It shows that, first and, for, first and foremost, Martin Luther King's dream was really a nightmare, right? Because when you get Israel and the heathen in the same place, it's going to be constant friction. Mm -hmm. And friction from the womb, if you read Genesis chapter 25. And I just want all Israelites to know that this whole week I've been getting uh, all sorts of hate mail, death threats, whatever. And it's good to see that I could find a place where I get love. That's right. Uh, that's right. Either one never love us. That's right. And uh, you know, it's good that we come together under one banner, you know. God. We are all the house of Israel. Even though that's my camp, we are all the house of Israel, actually. That's right. right. Saying, read the scriptures, we're all different parts of the body of the house shot. That's uh, right. You know, so I just like to just say I, I love everybody in this room. Right? Kwame Ash. Alright, so we have um Yahoo um Chief is Chris Zakari, um, and second trip from Israel. I am um, Kahan Kartazala. Um, he teach me, but that was from '97. He can't give you a whole history. He never, he never have no gray beard then. So we, we went to Israel and um, we sit over there with the brothers and so we say, okay, we have differences. And I said, um, let's sit down and discuss it. The Mona said, okay, go ahead. We have our council, 22 members. It was me, Kahan, Kaitzal, and Barak. I said, no, nah, we ain't gonna do it. We want to have a balance, right? I discussed that with you too. Yeah. I came back, talked to you, come to get ready. You understand me? And, um, so I say that to say this, like these brothers with that debate, they, they love it, that's the office. You understand me? And that's how people have to identify the office. So these brothers know, we see them and we identify them that they can go to Zion, sit down with the elders over there and discuss scriptures. We discuss that among us all the time. I'm on him to get his passport to go there. So again, again, the reason why we acknowledge these brothers and we have faith in them enough for them to go there with other brothers to, to sit down and have a normal council, we'll just watch. You understand me? The reason why we identify them is because we see the work that they're doing. You understand me? So now, everybody going by that debate, right? Watch like Google tonight. You understand me? So with that, I said, you can against yourself. Well, all praise God, Bashim El Shai. Uh, Shalom, everybody. Uh, 
I don't travel much, so you know, getting me out the house was a great deal. I got my ticket last minute. Right? So, Thank God. You know, last minute. I don't like to leave the West Coast, but you know, I'm glad I came. Um, and I just want to say, no camp has 144,000 members, so mm. we all are going to have to come together mm -hmm. and put together your idiosyncrasies, put by your idiosyncrasies, and just find commonalities that we have within each camp. Come get the hell out of here, like oh, Brother McQuan was saying earlier. Because if I have to die here, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, brother, every leader of the camp get in this martial art movement. So we can hurry up and wake up and get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What we got to remember is this, man. We a nation in exile. We're not a religion. Everybody's functioning like a religious group. Yeah. I'm a Baptist, I'm a Protestant. Mm -hmm. Except they're using them from this camp, I'm from that camp. We're a nation in exile. A nation can have differences in A, B, and C things, but they always are going to come together as a nation. Right. You take a look at this Jewish man who has appropriated our culture and is claiming it to be his. They be an atheist. This one eat pork. This brother, he, he's in Israel. You know, smoke cigarettes. Yeah, smoke cigarettes. But guess what? He can go to the to the uh, uh, to the what is it called the synagogue and he can sleep for free and eat for free Straight that up. night any town in the world That's you see right. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's what a nation does and they stole our ways and they use them to benefit themselves. Uh -huh. So we simply need to put back on our nationality, not a religion, not oh we, we, we should break down to this. No, we're a nation in exile mm -hmm. and that's how we got to function, man. That's Especially right. here in Babylon because some of the other tribes outside of the, the, the tribes that are predominantly here in Babylon have more togetherness. Right? So we're looking at Judah as the head tribe. Judah got to have and give an example of more togetherness, right? Because some of the other tribes, you, you meet a Haitian in the street and another Haitian, they're going to get together. Two Jamaicans are going to get together. Two Mexicans are going to get together. Two Judites are going to get the hell away from each other. So we got to stop that spirit, man. We are a nation. We got to have this togetherness, man. And that's what's going to bring us together. That's what's going to make the most high see that our hearts are truly changing. Right? Well, let me say this, brother. Just remember salvation in the East. <laughs> so I like West Coast thing, make it stay in America. <laughs> we, we acknowledge, we acknowledge that uh, Jerusalem and, um, is New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, with, we going to Israel, we tell them about our council, our Mashallah, Um You can tell them the good news, 2020. Yes. This year, September 25th, 2019, until January 1st, 2020, is a summit with your people, our people, in the land. The first that might happen since 78. Exactly. There's so we not can been anything history. like that. And when the brother um, Shar Amadiel came, when he came up with the idea, he leave Israel and come to our school. That's right. I remember I asked Kahan, I said, Kahan, could you come up? Kahan said, no, my wife pregnant, I ain't gonna make it up. A week later, his mother gets sick. Guess where he was? in New York. Amadiel came the next day. So we all was in the council together. And he said, when they see what we're doing here, they put on our council, a summit in Israel for 2019 going into so called 2020. So we have a whole year to prepare. So we could create history in terms of you read about Acts the second chapter, the devoted man came up. And when they came up, what happened? The Holy Spirit was up on that. That's right. That's right. So y'all think y'all gonna get that in America? Get it out there. Just wake up from that night. You understand? Everything with us in our land. And you have to know spiritual that land is and still is. Because remember, Esau is in the land for 70 years. They over there for 50 years. Who you think no more? Esau is only there 20 years more than them. And if you do history, you will see that other people went there before Benami, they actually went there. And they're still in the land. So they are still, everybody's still learning the land. We, we have the opportunity to. So we're going to encourage our people to try and make it to that summer. Yes, you have 11 months to get your passport. You don't want to be one of those that's kicking yourself and saying, man, I should have been here. Get your passport. So what, $110 to get your passport. Okay. The, airfare, the airfare is like, what, $700? A lot of you out in the world, you had your Christmas fund, you started putting down $10 the <laughs> Next year, Christmas, you put down your money for your ticket to go to something. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you, when you go on a cruise or you go somewhere, it's not, it's not that expensive to go to something. All right, so we have the last thing. A sister all the way from Ghana, um, 
she going to say um, a few words and um, if Kahan remember we have a brother in Jamaica named the back here. He work at the registration office where he deal with records. So this brother dig up so much records that even Bob Marley birthday they lied about. So I didn't have him do that deep hole. Deep one was the first brother to have him do. And when I have him do mine, he traced my lineage straight back to Ghana, a can, three language, everything. Mm -hmm. So when the lady came today, we could relate because that's something I was looking into. Mm -hmm. So she all the way from Ghana. And um, this is this is what the Mashara Yashala is about. You understand me? Yeah. And um, I don't want brothers or sisters out there to have the affiliation like we disrespect women. We don't disrespect our woman, but the man is still ahead of us. Right. Because right. we're right. going to change its agenda. Right. But in society today, we'll give our woman a chance to speak. She have a voice. Mm -hmm. Just like Yahweh I mean Mary, I said, Mary, go get Peter and them together. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So we have to encourage them. So I'm just going to give her the final word. Um, I'd like to give all other praises and thanks to our Heavenly Father and to all of you. I greet you all in peace. My name is Queen Vida from Ghana, West Africa, also a queen from the Mankisim region of Ghana. My father happened to be one of those that fought to bring independence to Ghana during Kwame Nkrumah region. I'm very touched and very excited just to be here today. Mm. I happen to be one of the sisters that pursued Ben and me, may he so rest in peace. And his dreams and his desires had always been to see our brothers, our Hebrew brothers and sisters come together from all over. Hallelujah. And just to see this, that touches my soul. I'm very happy, I feel so excited, you know? And I want you all to really continue to keep up the great works. And as it always stated in Micah chapter four, and I'm glad that it's been mentioned that you all should get your passports together, mm -hmm. make a journey up to Jerusalem. And people without the knowledge or without the people that cannot, that don't connect with their land, their language, their culture, it's like a few thousand words. Right. As it stated in Micah chapter 4, it says, It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains. It shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow to it. And many nations shall come and say, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and we may walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the Lord, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. I am glad that I've had the opportunity to be a part of the Hebrew Israelite community for 43 years. And I have literally lived in Israel for 25 years, okay? And I'm so happy and I'm so thankful that I had this opportunity because growing up as a child, my mother had about 12 children, my father had six from different women, so it was 18 of us. And I always used to say, but where are the children of Israel that the Bible talked about? It wasn't until the year 1977 that our brothers came from Jerusalem and started talking about the Bible. And right away I said, these are the brothers and sisters I've been looking for. Mm -hmm. And after that, the rest of it have been history. So I really pray that you all really, you know, do the things that the brothers were saying. And also, I want you to know that uh, this year has been declared the year of return in Ghana, West Africa. Our president, and, and I'm very happy that I happen to be connected with the president now uh, in, in Ghana, and he has declared that he would love for our brothers and sisters who were sold into captivity to return to Ghana, and he's willing to help you all with citizenship, and he's going to help to give you all some land. So I just want you all to know that this is what has been put out this year to happen in Ghana. Boris Kujo and 40 African Americans just left Ghana and they had a good time. And right now, everybody's talking about it. Anderson, uh, Michael J. White, all of them were in Ghana. So please, please, whatever you do, do everything you can to at least visit Ghana, West Africa. So on that note, I want to say, Yibarecha, Yahuwabi, Ishmarecha. Yael Yahuwabi, Panaba Lecha, Mikunechem. Shalom. May the Lord God of Israel bless you. May he keep you. 
May he lift up his countenances upon each and every one of you. Be gracious unto you and give you everlasting peace. See you Thank you for the opportunity. With that, we say shalom. Shalom.